New tonight, studies show attendance and membership at most religious organizations is declining. Yet the church remains a centerpiece for the African American community, and some Greenville churches are working to find different ways to meet the community's needs. Fox Carolina's Kennedy Harris is showing us how. The church of the 70s and 80s cannot be the church of the 2020s, 2030s, and 2040s. Pastors John and Aventer Gray lead Greenville's Relentless Church. Soon, it'll be named Love Story, a rebrand they say better fits the current mission. And what Love Story Church is, is a reintroduction to what it was always about. Community, connectivity, camaraderie. Reconnecting with the word and the meaning of service. But from the days of slavery, Coming into this country, 1619 until right now, the chains, whether physical or emotional or spiritual, were always there. For the African American church community, that was their only outlet. Black churches in the early 18 and 1900s provided community, faith, safety, and learning. One of Greenville's oldest, Mattoon Presbyterian, had a school for black children. Black churches have always served as a place of refuge and the center of the civil rights movement, like here at Springfield Baptist, where NAACP leaders met during the 60s. And even though times have changed, many churches still act as an important pillar for the community. The building itself is not the church. So if you as a people are serving and you are getting out into the community, that's what God requires. Entering the love story era, they'll offer new programming, including a homeschool and after school program and biweekly classes for grief, financial literacy and mental health. They're not the only ones evolving to address the needs. The historic Mountain View Baptist Church has land banked 100 acres for affordable housing. It really is a little bit outside of what churches are normally engaged in, uh, but it's certainly the call for this present day. Evolving to meet the needs, keeping the same values. Uh, there are 66 books in the Bible, and I guarantee you um, that they speak to the current issues that we're facing today. Kennedy Harris, Fox Carolina News.